Copiae Acut is a needly trial. It's a very important subject to tackle because we are confronted with this in the cat lab every day. We are confronted with patients with multiple vessel disease. In 50% of all patients admitted for acute myocardial infarction for primary PCI. There are already some data in the literature. But they're fairly small tri uh, trials. Exactly. And there was uncertainty as to how we could extrapolate. This is certainly the right remark to make. They are small and even they are pushed to a positive trial because revascularization in these small trials was considered an endpoint. And this trial, compare acute, is invariance to that subject. So compare acute, a very important element in the trial design was the fact that patients in the single, in the culprit vessel only arm could be stratified or could not be stratified but could be uh, deferred for their therapy until 45 days after the index event. And this is in variance with the two other, other trials, PRAMI and culprit. Yeah, so this is a key difference. Uh, instead of forcing people to do it right at the beginning, they could have it as a stage procedure, which is standard therapy in a lot of centers. Exactly. This is much more pragmatic than the yeah. earlier trial. Okay. But there's another important trial that was released in the literature, and it's the pre-multi Dynamic 3 trial. And you can say that this trial is a little bit a variance to that team. Because for the first time, or for the second time with uh, Compare Acute, we will be using uh, a physiological assessment of, of the patients in order to see whether or not this uh, additional treatment is needed. Okay. On top of that, there is a difference between the two trials. Yes, so there's Dynami, a difference in those trials. The NAMI, the assessment is done, and then within the index hospitalization, the patient could be uh, treated to the full extent. In this trial, the assessment is done in the acute phase, and the treatment is done in the acute phase, unless there were very good reasons to postpone the treatment, but still within two days after the index event. Okay. So thanks for clarifying that. What are the key things that Compare Acute found? The key things, of course, is the primary endpoint, and the primary endpoint is the classical endpoint of uh, mortality, non-fatal myocardial infarction, revascularization, with the emphasis I put on the fact that patients that are in the culprit-only arm could be treated until 45 days if there were indications um, on, on, for ongoing ischemia. And the last component was stroke, cerebrovascular events. The difference between the two groups was 8 versus 21. So there it was already 8% versus 21% in the primary endpoint. That makes a hazard ratio of 0 0.37 with a confidence interval between 0.22 uh, towards 0.55. So this is very good. It's, it's a strong effect. So what's the take-home message for the cardiologist? The take-home message for the cardiologist is full revascularization pays off for the patient. And you can do that. You can assess the patient in acute phase. And by doing that, you will be, do benefit to the patient.